Okay, when I started um, playing Black Shark 2, one annoying thing that happened was that the, um, the the viewpoint on the Shook file, if you're looking through it and you spot an enemy helicopter or tank, or you're looking through it at a building or trees or anything, and they'd suddenly start flashing like crazy. I mean, it was really, really annoying. But um, after messing around with it for a little while, I found a solution and it's quite easy to fix. Now this solution I can only say works on mine. I've got an NVIDIA GTX 295 which is a dual uh, card on one card if you can get that. It's It fits into one PCI Express slot but there's two actual cards on it in an SLI mood or mode and what I figured was that, well, when I set it to, to use one GPU, the problem disappeared. So I'll just show you an example of what was happening. And you can see for yourself if this relates to you or not. And then I'll show you how I fixed it. And it's pretty straightforward. I'll load the game now. the shook file on this level. Just here you can see. I mean it's annoying as hell, especially when you're looking around and all you can see is this flashing and things disappearing and it, I can tell you it gets very, very annoying. Luckily I only had to suffer it for one or two games. Now the solution if if you have an NVIDIA card and you probably have more than one it's set up in an SLI um, and if that's and if you have that or if you have uh, a dual PCB card which effectively functions in the same way if you right click on the desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel now you can override the default settings and this might explain why some people had a problem then didn't have a problem and had a problem and didn't have a problem because as they updated their graphics drivers, this uh, game database may have been updated also by NVIDIA. I mean, they are a very professional company, and their expertise is second to none. So, But if your game isn't here, you can click Add, and well, the, you browse to where you're, you installed your Black Shark 2. So you'd, you'd go to um, probably C, Program Files, Eagle Dynamics, Black Shark 2, and then bin in the binary folder, there's the DCS main executable, and you'll simply open that. And f for some reason, the executable uh, label is Black Shark, not Black Shark 2, which I think is Eagle Dynamics' fault, not NVIDIA, because it just pulls the label from the executable. Now, what I did the first time to get rid of the problem, because I was thinking of Z-buffer depths and all that, like Chippy had uh, problems with his Intel card. But then I saw here multi-GPU rendering. Now, if you think about like how a film, the old movies, work with frames, you know, you'd have a, a line of uh, film tape, and it would go through each frame, perhaps 25 to 30 frames per second. But what the graphics card is doing is every, say, second frame is done by one card, and every odd frame is done by the other card. And if it's not rendering them uh, and synchronizing properly, you can end up with a lot of weird, garbled-looking textures on the screen. So what I did was I set it to single GPU, but that meant that I lost half the power of the card, which I didn't want. So then I set, set it to force alternate frame rendering one. So I click apply here and I'm going to load the game now and we'll see what difference is when I load that level. So I'm going to uncage the shook file rendered somewhat as I expect it was meant to be displayed. Now because I didn't turn off one of the GPUs I can put the anti-aliasing up pretty high 
without any performance drop. So to recap, you right click on the desktop, NVIDIA control panel, you add the DCS.exe file to the program settings, not global settings, in manage treaty settings, click program settings, and add the DCS.exe for Black Shark 2 here. Then you go down to multi GPU rendering mode and you click whichever one works for you. If you don't want to go crazy with the quality settings, one single GPU may work, but I clicked force alternate frame rendering one and that fixed the problem for me. Then click apply and your changes will take effect the next time you load the game. I hope this was of a help to someone.